Good morning everyone. It is a cold 19 degrees out. It's been a while since I actually made a vlog. I've been in quarantine for about 10 days. I've had two negative tests, thank God. I came in close contact with someone who tested positive the same day. So I had to put myself into quarantine. So we left off on the new Chickshaw build. As you can see, we have our three combined flocks in it. They've adapted well, but that's not what today's vlog is about. Today's vlog is about the best chicken waterer to use in the winter. No matter how cold it gets, I will show you the best chicken waterer to use and that won't break the bank. In fact, it's roughly under $8. So let's let these guys out and I will show you the best chicken waterer for the winter. Good morning. Come on, Gilbert. Come on, Sally. This flock is a beautiful flock. We got speckled Sussex, we got Easter eggers, we got black copper morons, we got blue morons, we got Swedish flower hens, we got a specialty chicken that came with our meat birds from Murray McMurray. Her name is Sally, and she is right there, the white and black one. All I know is her breed ends in Hamburg. We have our rooster Gilbert. He's a beauty. We got good old Hershey right here, the big one. As you can tell, they love the new Chickshaw. It's holding up great. On the side note, I did add some uh, solar powered motion security lights made by Litcom. We've all experienced frozen chicken waterers, especially if you live in zones where it gets brutally cold or even just below freezing. And it can be a hassle. Let's go on to the next paddock. And that's where I'll show you the best chicken water to use in the winter. So waterer number one, we got the eight gallon cube waterer from Premier One Supplies. The second waterer is your average water you see at every tractor supply store, every farm center, every co-op. Waterer number three, it is made by Vortex. You can get them at tractor supply store and probably any other store that sells farming supplies. We got ours at the uh, Homestead store. They're about 15 minutes away. Love the name, by the way. So in order for the chickens to get water out of this one, hey, Bernice, you literally have to take a hammer, probably with a flathead screwdriver, and chisel at the ice. That's not gonna get you anywhere because there's a reservoir under there that's completely frozen. And the inside's frozen. About one inch. So that water is a no-go in the winter. This waterer right here is impossible to work with in the winter. We learned that the first winter we started raising chickens. This thing is impossible, especially to unscrew it off the base. You gotta beat it around quite a bit. You get the water from the channel here and then you still have to worry about screwing the top off now the vortex pan I'm going to show you what you do here 
this vortex pan all you do is turn it over look at that we got about roughly two inches of ice toss that to the side the chickens will have fun with it and look at that no ice let's grab our water We'll do a quick rinse out and fill it up. These pans here, this size cost about, a, probably about $8 max. Does not break the bank. Now, if you come across a situation to where it's 20 degrees, 10 degrees, 5 degrees throughout the entire day, you might have to get a bucket of water, carry it out to the chickens, and repeat the process. So by far, the Vortex Pan is the best chicken waterer in the winter. Now I know they make heated chicken waterers that you plug in. I'm not going to fool with those. This particular paddock is probably about 300 yards away from the nearest electrical outlet. I'm not going to fool with that. That's the best chicken waterer right there for the winter. The cube waterer, can't use today. The Vortex Pan works. It's a flexible rubber material. You just flip it over, even if it's a solid block of ice. You flip it over, you step on the back of it, all the ice comes out in one piece. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go get a bunch of those for our ducks. Quick and easy, that's what we want. These Vortex bowls come in numerous sizes. We use this one for Enzo, our Great Pyrenees. We use the smaller one for our cats. We had pigs in the past. And we use these as waterers, and that was a huge mistake. They would actually curl up in them. Of course, they were the larger uh, bowls, and they would wallow around, dirty up the water. So that was just no good for pigs. But you can feed pigs in these bowls. That's not a problem. The perfect bowls to have on your homestead for waterers or even feeders. Now for goats, I don't know. Sheep, I don't know. I don't, I've never owned goats or sheep. Uh, cows, I wouldn't recommend. Cows need a bigger water trough, even horses. But as far as your smaller animals, I would recommend these by a long shot. Perfect for the winter season. And then after the winter season, we will go back to using the eight gallon cubed water we got from Premier One. But you can't beat these. Like this bull right here was maybe five bucks. I think this small one here for the cats was four bucks. Can't beat it. Get yourself some today. So comment below and let me know what type of chicken water you use during the winter months. I hope all of you liked today's vlog. I hope it was very informative for all of you that's having issues with your chicken waterer freezing at night. You got your answer. These Vortex Flex Pants that's made out of rubber, they are simple to use, easy to find, and extremely cheap. I suggest you go out and get a few today, and you can also use them for ducks, which we need to do so. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless. Until next time, happy holidays.